Hey and welcome to this video. I had a request from one of my channel members here saying that um, he's trying to use this fix here, fixing boot manager is missing and he's trying to say that his one is compressed and it's getting boot manager is compressed. Well there is a difference to it because he's asking if there is and it's a good question. There is a difference error and it's a fatal error, you won't be able to boot to it if it's compressed. So I'm going to show you how to fix that right now. Okay, so let's get started. What we're going to need is a Windows Vista CD or a Windows Vista recovery disk. Now you can get the recovery disk as I said from neosmart.net okay, and download it and burn it to a disk. So you need to, uh, one of these. Now I'm not going to show you that, I'm going to show you onto uh, a, Vista, a, a virtual machine so you can actually see what I'm doing. Okay, So I've already got my uh, recovery disk and I'm going to boot up to that. So let's get started. So let me just show you what the error is first, so you can see what, what the bloke's got. And you're going to get this when you boot up. Boot manager is compressed. It's a fake error, you won't be able to boot into the system. So let me just uh, shut this off. Change my boot order to boot to recovery disk, like so. Click OK and click Start. Now yours will be slightly different sys, but it will be the same process where you push any key and it will load in the recovery console. Okay, so just load it up. Once that's loaded. Now I've seen a few people say you should use, um, it's nothing to do with a recovery, startup recovery, it's not going to fix it because it's compressed. So you need to decompress it, otherwise it's not going to work. So let me just load this in. That's just this little bit here. Okay. So once we've got this up, I'll show you a couple of methods. So what you want to do is go next here, okay? You won't see that grey box, but you want to go next here and then you don't want to go install now, you want to come to down to where it says repair your computer, okay? So click on that and then this little grey box will pop up, okay? So you want to go load drivers, so click on there, click load drivers, click OK, like so, and then this little browsing box will pop up. What you need to do is come to computer and the C drive and right click on the C drive and go properties and if you look here just try and pull it up, you can see compressed, okay, or compress, it's compressed the drive, okay, you need to take that tick out, like so, click apply, just get these out of the way, it's a bit fiddly, because of all the, and apply changes to the C drive, you can see here, I can't cancel it, because it will cancel the whole thing, but if you look here, this is the one we're looking at, okay, so you want to make sure that it says uncompress. So we want to uncompress the subfolders and files. Click OK. And that's now starting to uncompress the drive itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause it until it's uncompressed it all. And then I'll see you back in a second. So let me just get out of here. OK, that's uh, finished finish uncompressing it now, it did take some time and that's only a 20 gig partition so I should imagine if you've got a bigger hard drive there it's going to take some time but obviously if it fixes your problem then it's all good so let's just uh, close some of these off now and, uh, we don't need that and we certainly don't need that, as you can see that the tick is, um, we don't want to take the tick out of there Okay, so that's it. So we've done this already. So just cancel. Come out of here. There is one last thing you can do. You can actually come into the re repair uh, computer again. Okay, if this doesn't work, and this will be your last sort of a uh, ditched attempt to fix it. So what we need to do is uh, go next at this stage. If it doesn't fix it, go into the command prompt. Okay and then type, let's just get you the uh, command there and then type this command in, okay, it's the same thing it's just uncompacting 
the actual drive, the whole of the C drive, okay? So that's all that command tells it to do. That's if it doesn't, if you can't get into there. But if you can get into there and uncompress it, it's all good. But if there's no tick in there to take out, then obviously you'd have to go into the command prompt and run that command, and that will uncompress it, okay? So anyway, let's uh, reboot it up and see if that's fixed it. Uh, let's come out of here. Let's just reboot the actual machine itself and see. Just uh, come out of there and reboot this. It's a bit of a pain, but okay. So then I need to just take that off the recovery console, otherwise, it will go back into recovery console. Okay. And then push start, and hopefully, we should get into Windows Vista. And there you go. Okay, so that's your problem solved. My name is Brian from brightech.co.uk. Hope this video has been some use to you. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel, show your support. If any questions like that guy did, leave a comment and I'll do my best to fix it for you. Okay? Uh, if you've got any other videos that you want me to make, send me a private message and say, look, could you make a video on this? As long as it's computer related, I'll do my best to make that video for you. Thanks again for watching and thanks for your support. Nearly at 500 uh, subscribers now, so I'm quite impressive. So thanks a lot. Bye for now.